Well, I resist. I would not actually have to resist both titles because the other one was, was a holy maverick. A maverick. Well, we liked but, that one. Yeah. Yeah, but the problem is, anybody that calls themselves holy is very dangerous. True. By, true. By God, a prophet is somebody has nothing to do with predicting the future, as right, you know. Right. Right. It's a person who's totally nakedly, at whatever cost, integral. Yep. Well, yep. to pass, attach that predicate to oneself, <laughs> you got to be very careful. We don't know who the audience is going to be, do we? It's not a, well, we, we know that it would be an audience that would be interested in spiritual it's, questions. That's why I think this is bigger than just reaching a Catholic audience. Because it really, it really doesn't deal with what the Catholic Church should be, by extension it deals, it deals with that specifically, but it, it by extension it's what churches should be. Yeah, churches. Yeah. What churches should do. Right. Churches should take care of the poor. That's uh, churches, exactly right. It is... But it's not only that they didn't follow the Acts of the Apostles and how everybody's needs must be taken care of. There must be no poor people. You must give away all you have to the community. So that's the one big facet that Catholics have, and Protestants do. They suffer lots of the same errors, if not worse, some of them. Uh, they don't believe in egalitarianism. They don't. You, you have to study the Acts of the Apostles, uh, the seven little snippets from the Book of Revelation. They tell you about seven different churches, lampstands they're called, and the first letter to the Corinthians plus other letters that give you a vision into church life, how the first people after Jesus implemented the gospel. I don't know what kind of church we would have, as bad as ours is right now, if we didn't have those books as part of in the inspired scriptures. But they tell us how the people live. And to stick with one of them, the Acts of the Apostles, they are the only real communists on this planet that could survive which are a model for the Catholic Church. We are communists. And I think people got all, you know, got caught up so much in the scandals. And that's the, 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 the language, <laughs> you know, but I think so many people got focused on that. And what's he doing now? And what's he doing now? That I sort of want to lay that to rest and say, yeah, that's one piece. But there's something else that's more important that you need to listen to that he was trying to get your attention Yep, by using that. We are not atheistic communists and not uh, a, a government, ruthless government trying to try, stamp out all previous cultures with all kinds of artificialities, but a, 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 a communist government that we've experienced in the last hundred years. And remember, communism as a way of government only lasted 72 years. And it really did more harm than any czar before them. Before them. Uh, but why do we ever have Lenin and Stalin? And more importantly, from the intel from the thinking base level, uh, Marx and Engels and Feuerbach uh, uh, and Hegel and all those people. Well, because any jerk can figure out that. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Mm -hmm.